and welcome back to another edition of Figure Depot. Today we are taking a look at the Superman Aliens 2-pack from uh, the San Diego Comics Con exclusive. This is a Dark Horse comic that featured these and they're being brought to life in action figure form. Nothing on the top, nothing on the side, nothing on the back, nothing on the other side. Then on the bottom, we have all of our legalese so there you go pretty much the only place to get this now if you didn't pick it up at comic con is to grab one off of ebay which is what i had to do so there's a look at the outside of the package and now i'm going to show you there's the inside and we've got superman packaged there nicely along with our uh alien or xenomorph and we're gonna bust this bad boy open and see what's inside. All right, and here they are out of the package, looking awesome. That alien looks extremely nasty and gross, like he should. Superman looks fantastic. This is exactly what I was hoping for with this Superman figure. The articulation is superb. Um, the sculpt is fantastic. The paint applications are very nice. I love the blue on this thing. It's not a dark, dark blue, and it's not a super pale blue. It's just right in the middle with some shading and variation to really make it pop. So, love it. Love the red they went with. It's not too dark. It's not burgundy like some of them are. It's just a nice, bright red, and uh, they both look amazing. We will get a close-up look at our Xenomorph first, and then we'll take a close look at Superman. And uh, the Xenomorph does not come with any accessories to speak of. You basically just get the uh, alien figure. And we'll come in here close and get a look at some of his detail. You can see the sculpt is really, really nice. It's uh, just a, a dark, dark purple, I think, if not black. And then it's got some tan and blue sort of dry brushing or highlights on it. The whole thing's got a nice glossy finish to it which makes it look wet and slimy and everything like you should the uh head has a nice purpley blue color and it's not coming off on camera it's just coming off as black and that's just because of the uh particular lighting in my room right now it's real yellow saturated i need to get some white lights to do my reviews with but uh let me turn him this way and see if that light over there picks up the purple yeah not really but anyway I'm gonna run through his articulation real quick. I don't have a lot of, or really many monster figures at all. Aliens is not really my jam. Uh, you can see he's got a disc hinge back here, which will rock back and forth, and then the head's on a ball peg as well. So you can get him turned around all kind of different ways. Uh, same thing here, the arms are on ball hinges like most figures are. So they'll go in and out. And then we got a single jointed elbow then the hands here will actually hinge in two places here and here and they will swivel as well uh, we get a nice uh, diaphragm joint that moves all around and then we've got uh, hinges here but he doesn't go out very far because of the uh, this piece is here kind of hit and prevent him from going out very far we do get uh, a single joint here and we do get a joint well so i guess it's technically double jointed but this is just a peg in there that swivels and then this is an actual hinge down here then we get another hinge here and then at the bottom we have a slight hinge there i think or maybe it just rotates it may just rotate around um so yeah uh it does not have ankle uh rocker or pivot so but then we get this huge, long, nasty tail here, and it does have bendy wire in it, so you can bend it around and shape it and do all kind of stuff with it. So that's a quick look at the alien figure. I don't have much to say about it because it's not really, not really my jam. But uh, I'm more interested, of course, in Superman and what we can get done with him. So yeah, it was. There you go. It is what it is. All right, so taking a look real quick at the accessories for Superman, we have this nice 
uh, blast effect here. And you can see it's very nicely sculpted. Uh, mine's a little warped. They should be straight, but it kind of comes together in the middle. And I'm going to put something in between to kind of let it stretch itself back out. Um, that's just the nature of how it was packed. And uh, these will punch into Superman's face. And uh, you can see the little bridge of his nose is, I think, meant to go right there in that little nook. So we'll check that out in a minute once we get a closer look at the figure. Then we've got a smaller uh, laser blast here. And uh, same thing, you see this little notch, I think is for uh, going over his nose. But um, it's kind of like they're just starting to fire out. Then we get these uh, flight hands here. You get two of these. And I'll just go ahead and let you know the paint's gonna chip off of this hinge. So you might as well get it out and just rock it back and forth and go ahead and scrape that paint off. But fortunately, the plastic that they used is a tan color as well. So it won't be too noticeable on the figure, but because of the type of plastic it is and because they didn't prime it, the paint just flakes off of that. So you get two of those and one for each hand, of course. And then we get the face that the special effects plug into. And you can see the hair is real glossy, which is, I think I would have preferred a satin or flat finish on the hair. It's just way too like slick, but you know, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but it definitely looks like he used way too much hair gel. Very, very wet and slimy, but uh, you can see where the effects poured in and I guess we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So here's his laser blast effect and we'll, uh, find our notch there it is okay the notch is actually down because his nose is down so I'm gonna slide that in yeah so your notch goes down on his nose and then there's his laser blast anyway so that's how those work we'll get a look at the smaller one in there while we're at it and yeah so this one I think is a little, little odd looking, but I don't know. You can do some stuff with it. So that's a look at that accessories. And then uh, we'll take a look at Superman. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful figure. I'm very, very impressed. I was really hoping they would do this justice and I just can't say enough that they did. I mean, this is just spectacular. This is the Superman I've been wanting since I started collecting Superman figures back. Well, I mean, <laughs> 1984 was when I first started with Superpowers line. And of course I was four years old at the time, but since being an adult uh, collector, I've been longing for a figure with this quality, this caliber of articulation and the sculpt. Come in a little closer and look at that face. That is awesome. Really nice sculpt. Um, it's not, you know, Christopher Reeve. It's it's more of just kind of a generic uh, Silver Age comic look. And uh, I really like it. Really like it a lot. You could use this in kind of your DCU look and your comic look. It's just got a nice balance to it um, where it could go animation style or it could go real world, in my opinion. So. You can see uh, the shading there on the legs. It's very subtle, you know, so it's not overdone. And I think it looks really nice. Love the classic style boots. I mean, everything about this thing is awesome. And I'll tell you, look at that. Joker's been working out. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this figure, I wanted a cloth cape with that beautiful S logo on there. And you can see NECA has done us proud. That is just awesome. I guess the only thing that this is missing is a bendy wire. But, uh, you know, you can't ask for the world, I guess. <laughs> There's always going to be some complaints somewhere. But, I mean, this still is by far the best Superman figure that I have ever owned. And I've had their NECA Christopher Reeve Superman, which... Um, it was good, but the articulation was a little weak, and the, you know, the, the face sculpt was phenomenal. It looks just like Christopher Reeve, but the, uh, 
the body was just real, real, real skinny. I understand he was slender and tall, but they just made him like way too skinny. And I sold that figure recently, so I don't have it to compare to this one, but I've got some DC Direct figures and some Mattel stuff that we're gonna look at when we get into comparisons later. But uh, let's go ahead, I guess, and knock out the articulation. So we have this uh, ball jointed head. So you can see this is something we're definitely familiar with. And uh, he will look up pretty nicely. Not as much as I want it to, but his eyes kind of look up a little bit in the way that they're painted and sculpted. So it kind of makes up for uh, what it lacks in articulation. He will look down a very good amount. Uh, we do have, you know, what we're used to seeing with Marvel Legends or any other, you know, six inch figure, seven inch figure. It's that hinge right there, the ball hinge. Then we get the rotation here at the, where the bicep meets the deltoid. Then we have double jointed um, elbows here. And I can't get, there it goes. I couldn't get it when I was messing with it to bend, but now it's working. It was just kind of stiff out of the package. So that looks really nice. And uh, definitely recommend putting heat on this figure before you try forcing stuff around just because you don't want to break it. We get a swivel and a hinge right there. Uh, we get a forward crunch, pretty good. We get a backwards crunch, not bad. Uh, we do get a waist swivel. We do get legs that kick forward to there, which is not bad at all. We get a double jointed knee. Ooh, gotta be careful, okay. Really nice double jointed knee. And then we get a bend there, which is really good. And then forward not as much but not bad and then we have toe articulation but mine is frozen so i'm gonna put some heat on that before i try forcing it i really worked it pretty good and it's just not moving our splits are really good and we do have a uh, swivels up here so really nice articulation this is a fan freaking tastic figure let's just let's just admire this let's get in here close and we'll do a nice one more go around I mean, this thing is just awesome. I could go on and on and on about it, so I won't, but uh, just fantastic. Look at that. Look at that beautiful S right there. Okay, we're gonna get a, see what the span of the cape is here. Let me focus that, sorry. So, span of the cape, real nice. It's about like what we've seen from Mezco on their Batman figures, just a big wide spread of the cape and uh, just looks really good. This is a fantastic figure. All right, now we'll get into some size comparisons. All right, just for a couple quick size comparisons, here we have our NECA Superman next to the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And you can see that uh, these look really nice together. They actually pair very well. Uh, the NECA one is tall enough and, and buff enough. He's not quite as, as jacked as the Batman is, but you know, it works. And the sculpt on him is, like I said, comic-y enough that he can definitely work as a comic figure. And then we have the Lex Luthor from the uh, Skeletor and Lex 2-pack, the Masters of the Universe and DC Universe Classics 2-pack series they put out several years ago. And uh, you can see that um, that figure is just a hair shorter, but, you know, not so short that it doesn't work, I guess. It works for me, anyway. Um, Superman is definitely tall. Uh, I don't I don't recall from the comics how tall Lex Luthor is supposed to be, but I don't think um, it's so far off that it's ridiculous or not believable. All right, and here we have him next to the DC Direct Public Enemies Kingdom Come Superman. And you can see the sculpt on him is very muscular, much like the uh, Dark Knight Returns figures. And uh, he's a bit shorter than this NECA Superman. I 
I can't recall, typically DC Direct, especially as old as the Public Enemies figures were, they kind of ran about a six and a half inch, so uh, pretty consistent size-wise, given that the uh, NECA Superman is a seven inch figure. But uh, you can see the differences there. And then what was my favorite Superman in my collection to, until NECA released theirs was the uh, DC Icons. Superman and the sculpt on it is really nice. The articulation is really good, but it was just so undersized. These weren't even six inches tall. I think they were like five and three quarters or five and a half. So way undersized with the DC Icons line. Otherwise, this this would have been you know a perfect figure. But um, one thing I will say, the head sculpt is definitely better on our NECA Superman than it was on the Icons. Um, I guess it wasn't as good partially just because of how small it was. So it's nice to have a nice full size Superman with a big old giant cape and uh, great articulation. I could not be more pleased. I give this thing a 10 out of 10, honestly. It just meets or exceeds all of my expectations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you have this figure or if you plan on picking him up and if you're excited about that. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on uh, him or the alien figure. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.